Hey guys, Mitch here from Anything Man Cave, and today I have a haul video. This is my Brick World Chicago 2015 haul. Um, this haul cost me somewhere around 170 bucks, I think. Um, which for that much it might not seem like a lot, but most of this is either like custom items or rare items or stuff like that. Actually, all of this is custom or rare stuff. Um, so yeah, so there are some random little free thingies that I got, um, some business cards, um, for example, um, a little magnet, brick world magnet, um, brick show sticker, because I did go to the brick show booth, a little mini version of the poster for uh, Lego Brickumentary. <laughs> um, and then this little brick sticks advertisement thing. Um, so I picked up some pretty cool stuff here, or there, my bad. Um, so let's start with the one official Lego item that I purchased, um, which was the Lego Star Wars shirtless Darth Maul promotional poly bag that I've been wanting for however long it's been around, like what, three years? A uh, little bit of sticker shock on this one, 35 bucks, but I realize that the price is only, this thing on the aftermarket is only going to get more expensive, um, and I should have bought it back when it was still like 20 bucks. Um, um, but, yeah, still a very cool minifigure, and glad I finally got my hands on him, even after all this time. I guess this also counts as official Lego. Um, the Brick Show was selling the uh, some of the DC Comics variant covers, um, Lego variant covers. So picked up one, the Batman and Superman number sixteen. Um, you can see Lego variant cover it looks really cool in my opinion. Uh, probably not going to take it out of this bag, um, but yeah, definitely very cool looking. And I'm surprised of how cheap they were. They're like six bucks each, or two for two for ten bucks, but. I didn't really see any other ones that, that I wanted other than that one, so, yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, Citizen Brick, I only bought one item from them, although, yeah. So, with my purchase date, give me, like, this little mini coaster-looking thing, which is cool. It's just in the bag. With the item I purchased, which was the neutral minifig head. I wanted to pick this up last year and I forgot to, so, yeah. And I never got around to actually placing an order on their website. Oh, I didn't notice this. this that's the face that's on here. Huh. Cool. Um, next up, uh, what else? What else do I want to show? Uh, or what do I want to show next? Uh, Light Up Blocks had a booth. It's this company that makes light up stuff. So I got their little Iron Man stand kit. So basically the lights go into the, uh, Studs and cylinders and stuff. Pretty cool looking. And these are really cheap too, like three bucks or something. Or four, three or four bucks. Um, and uh, a red lightsaber one as well. <coughs> red lightsaber as well. Probably gonna put Darth Revan on that. Um, yeah. Or Darth Vader. I don't know. One of the two. Um, next up, let's do. I can't remember the name of. Uh, the people that had this, um, it was just some place that had some custom stuff. So, picked up a couple of little pauldrons. So this Mandalorian one here, with the uh, Mandalorian little skull logo, really cool. And then this one, it's kind of hard to see the print, but it's, uh, it's the 501st Legion cosplay group logo, I believe. And that's pretty cool. So, yeah, picked that up. And the, these pauldrons are like a buck each, so it's like, why not? Uh, next up, I did pick up a, from the Brick Show's booth, a Brick Forge, um, pack, a little accessory pack, Galaxy Enforcer, uh, basically like a little light, so things got a riot shield, a vest, helmet, or this hat, uh, gun, blade, and a little pistol. Pretty cool looking. I figured I'd pick it up. Nice little thing. That was pretty cheap. Uh, next up, I'm gonna save all the. I bought 
quite a, I bought a decent amount of stuff from Florida Customs, so I'll save that for last. Uh, but I did buy a little bit of a few little, a couple little Burke Arms items. So I got some random weapons, a uh, little Halo uh, rifle, a uh, Han Solo pistol, which I think looks really nice, and then some of those clips that you can use to like, attach like knives and stuff to guns. And then I also picked up the uh, Modern Combat Pack version 5. Very cool. Lots of cool weapons in there. Cost me $18.50, which I th think um, is a little bit more than it would cost online, but then there's shipping, so it pro pretty much evens out. Um, they're shipping if I buy it online, so. Yeah. Cool weapons in there. And, um. Next up. Second to last thing I bought stuff from uh, in this haul. Uh, Eclipse Graphics. Uh, I bought their Gridiron, gridiron minifigure. $25. Uh, this is basically Iron Man slash Tron, and it glows in the dark, which is awesome. The blue part glows in the dark. And this thing is super cool. I'm actually going to take this out of the bag to show you guys here, because uh, it's really awesome. I mean, just look at all this printing. Arm printing, leg printing, side leg printing, back leg printing. Um, and even the head is really cool. It's got like the little heads up display. And uh, yeah, this is Clone Army Customs custom uh, Iron Man armor with Eclipse Rifle Spring. And it also uh, has the design underneath as well, which I didn't notice. Um, so you could just have it like that if you wanted to. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure this glows. I'm actually going to try it out really quick. can't really tell because there's still light shining on it. Hmm. I can't really tell. I'll have to like hold it under a strong light and like uh, take it into the into a dark room or a closet or something. They told me it glows in the dark, so <laughs> yeah. And that was twenty five bucks. I thought it was gonna be thirty, but uh, it was twenty five. Which is cool. And finally, guys, um, Clone Army Customs picked up some stuff from them. Um, so first thing I picked up was one of their, uh, weapon grab bags. Picked up number three. Uh, I don't know what's in this, obviously. Um, but it was two bucks, and it definitely is more than two weapons, so that is cool. Um, and then picked up one figure from them, just like last year. Picked up Commander Thorn, and, uh, free weapon I chose with a minigun. I also have the, uh, Sunbiter in there, and the... Wastecape or comma um, for Commander Thorn there. Very cool. Um, and then did buy some uh, weapons. And accessories. Just some miscellaneous ones. I'm actually going to take out this business card just so I can show you everything in the bag more easily. So, you know, some visors, some binoculars. Um, few blasters. They were out of the uh, clone trooper rifles by the time I got to the booth, which is unfortunate, but yeah. Uh, some of their antennas, which look really nice. Uh, and yeah, I really like their visors. Uh, the dark orange one I got because I kind of want to put it on a um, one of my Geonosis troopers. So, from the battle pack. So, yep. And finally, last little thing I got from them. I came back to their booth later because I wanted to pick up a couple of these little pistols here. This was toward the end of the of my time there. Very cool. So, also, um, I went to the Eclipse Graphics booth and I bought a brick that has Minifig Man Cave printed on it. But the printer they had there was uh, wasn't working, so... Um, I basically just filled out a form and uh, they're going to ship it to me. So that is very cool. Looking forward to that. And I'll do a separate haul video when I get that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this haul. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, Brick Gold was awesome. And again, actually, I don't think I already said this. Uh, check out my Flickr and uh, for all the pictures I took at Brick Gold and my Instagram for some of the pictures. And I'll have a little, little short montage of some of the stuff I saw there on YouTube as well. 
But uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this whole video. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.